the latest developments in the search for Brian Laundry. We're still waiting for answers after possible human remains, along with some of Brian's belongings, were found in a preserve outside Northport yesterday. Brian Laundry is the only person of interest in the disappearance of his fiance, Gabby Petito. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane joins us now live from the park where the search started for him more than a month ago. Wendy. Yeah, that's right, Lauren, and we've seen law enforcement coming in and out of the Mayakahatchee Creek Environmental Park all day long investigating those human remains that were found here yesterday morning. Here's search video today from Action Air One. This all coming after the FBI announced finding human remains along with a backpack and notebook belonging to Brian Laundry. Now, yesterday morning, Brian's parents came to the park with law enforcement and found the items not far from a trail that Brian often hiked. The FBI says the area was previously underwater until now. Today, the Lee County Sheriff talked about the struggles of searching this swampy area. These are very, very difficult conditions. I mean, you're searching in areas that you just can't walk up and look. It's not like you're searching a house or a car. These areas are huge and they're covered by water. For a month, law enforcement has been searching this park as well as 25,000 acres of the Carlton Reserve for Brian Laundry, who is a person of interest in the strangulation death of his fiance, Gabby Petito. And again, we're told that it could be days before the identity of those remains are confirmed. Live in Northport tonight, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.